I have managed to once embarrass myself in front of about sort of 20 people I admire all at once at my first Hollywood party. Yeah. And I'm wandering around this ginormous mansion and I get to the buffet, right? And the buffet is not like your bog standard buffet at a sort of travel in is the best food you've ever seen is gourmet so I was like Jesus Christ this is the best steak I've ever had so I start piling the steaks onto my plate and I, I load up about 10 because I'm just like these people aren't going to eat this I'm going to take this home with me and I've got like Edward Norton behind me and Gwyneth Paltrow in front of me and Gwyneth like turns around and sees this like mountain of meat that I have on my plate and I just go um Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I step out into this garden. No one can see me. And I throw my napkin on top of the pile of steaks. And then I flip the plate over and bundle all my steaks up. I stick it between my legs. Oh, no! Which only makes all of this worse. No! But it's because I'm trying to smuggle it out under my dress, right? I'm waddling, I'm waddling, I'm getting faster and faster. I'm in six inch heels. Now I'm 5'11", so I'm about six foot five, right, at this point. So I can't see really anyone at my eye line. I knock someone over. I go down, he goes down, the stakes that have now kind of congealed bundle of blood has just shot across the floor of this Hollywood party. I turn around and realize the person I've knocked over is a very petite and very frail uh, Al Pacino. (laughs) So So I run over like a linebacker, bundle the stakes under my arms and run out of the party because I was so determined to get those stakes home and put them in my freezer. And Al Pacino is walking around that party. Telling everyone that Judd Apatow's cleaner just dropped a load of steak out of her hoo-ha.